Welcome back to Rigid Fishing. My name is Captain Rob, and in this video, I'm down in Louisiana still, and we are live baiting for yellowfin tuna and also blue marlin. And it's actually a pretty typical way of fishing down there, live baiting for tunas. And in this particular day, you're gonna see a few, few days chopped up together. I wanted to do a little bit of a highlight reel showing a bunch of the yellowfin tuna that we caught while live baiting, but then it's gonna get into uh, the two marlin that we caught, which was pretty cool. Um, some crazy jumps. I think there were four or five marlin hooked that day at the same rig, which is pretty crazy when they're, when they're doing it like that. It's awesome. Uh, but I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe and get ready for the next video. Thanks. Right. I think we made our bait. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You have to start by using your feet and sliding There you go. Keep your rod perpendicular. Oh yeah. There you go. Try to keep your rod out that way. Yeah. Let's see this instant. Oh, you did. You guys just let me know when you can see your fish. You can see your fish? All right, I'm coming. I'm on. On. <laughs> what you got to say, Captain Alex? Tracking back in. Shell rigs. Pogies look good. The bike good. Got doubled up. I think. I don't know. Go check in the box. We'll go see what's happening in the box. I hear some noises up here. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. 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 Relocate, but it's all good. Look, we got tunas on the screen. We got some yellow fellas in the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Real, 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 real. You got to keep reeling. Just keep reeling. Unless that line is dumping out like it is right now, just keep reeling. Dude, we got him on 50 or 60 pound. Yeah. I don't understand how he's still hooked. Just go eat, go easy on him. Do exactly what you're doing. You're not pulling on him too hard. You're doing perfect. Just keep reeling. Keep that line tight. 
see if we can get him up close to the boat. Hey, he's spinning around. It's all right. It's all right. There he is. Keep real, 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 real. Oh, he's going. Keep real, 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 real. He pulled. He pulled. So really quick, I just want to point out the second marlin that we hooked, I kept filming and I kept it in the video. I wanted you to see how when you hook a big marlin with a tiny little hook on 50 pound leader, they don't really know they're hooked yet. It takes a long time for them to figure out what is actually going on. And you actually have to put quite a bit of pressure on them for them to realize what is going on and to get them to come up. This particular marlin, the second one, that we caught uh, it didn't come up for 10 minutes it just stayed on the bottom or it stayed down about 200 feet and just didn't move didn't move much at all and uh, it took a lot of boat maneuvering to get get it to come up and it finally came up and it was awesome when it came up it was worth it so i hope you guys like that He doesn't even know what's going on yet, if it is him. He hasn't. He has no idea he's hooked. Get ready to reel on them. I think I see him, yeah, I see him. Big old shark, big hammerhead. Marlin. No, it's a marlin. It's a marlin. What about a leader is that? <laughs> Look at his tail. Look at him all lit up. God, it's so nice. Pretty as nasty. Yeah. 